Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to day three of the 10 day bead soup challenge. So today I'm doing a special video for my sister Kristen. She used to do a lot of scuba diving and so I wanted to make something with a fish. So we are going to make fish scarf pins or they can also be hair pins. What you're going to need for this project are of course your beads. I have my seed bead soup. I have these other beads that are between four and eight millimeters. You have your tools, round pliers, uh, flat pliers, cutters, and two different sizes for each uh, hairpin. I have 16 gauge wire and a 20 or 22 gauge wire for the fish. You'll also need a file or something just to file the end of the wire for the stick. For the fish we're going to need about an 8 inch piece of 16 gauge wire and right in the middle you're going to take your round pliers and just give it a little bend. So this is going to form the nose of the fish and then all you have to do is round these edges around here. You can use a round form if you want or you can just do it by hand. I'm not making this one too too big. You can definitely make it larger if you like. So we're just going to bring that one around here and make it to sort of the size that you want and that's going to be our beginning point. So now what you want to do is cut some of the 20 or 22 gauge wire and you're going to need quite a bit for this. So just cut a good long piece. I would say at least two feet of wire, maybe a little bit more, and then we're just going to cut it here. This I'm using, it's a pretty soft wire. The, I find the para wire softer than the artistic wire, so if your wire is too stiff, use a thinner gauge. This is 20 gauge. And so what you want to do to start is I'm going to find a bead for the eyeball. So this one's good. It's a cat's eye bead. So I'm just going to put it right in here. And then what I want to do is just wind the wire around a little bit. So I'm going to leave just a little bit at the end. Wind this around all the way around. So from here we're just going to attach it into the fish. So just take this end, wind it around. You can wind it around a couple of times. And then this end here, we're just going to wind it on this side. So just set, place it where you want it and you can actually just go through these wires because they're not attached. So this is going to go here. So for this part we want to make things that look a little bit like scales. So what you're going to do is just bring it here and you can actually take your pliers and just make some little bends and we want to just make it kind of curvy around like that. And then you can also put beads in there. You don't have to put them in your first row. It's up to you. I'm just going to do one row without beads and then I'm going to work some beads into there after. So just go along. Pull this a little bit tighter if you have to. These don't have to be totally even. It's, it's fine. So you're just going to go around here and then have a look at it and then if you want more scales you can put them you know closer together and do more scales but I'll keep it pretty simple for now. So once we have that this end is going to end up getting cut off. We can just cut that now and then this end here we're just going to hold that in place and give it a turn around. See this part is open so we can just slide it in there. Bring it down a couple of times and then what we want to do now is go back through those fins. So what I want to do though is make it a little fence here. I'm going to put some beads on there. So I'm just going to bring the wire in behind. I'm going to add my beads. If you were making this as a sun catcher you can make it bigger and uh, put bigger beads but I'm just making a small size for the hair pins so I don't want the beads to be too big. So I'm going to just take this one, bring it up here and then I'm going to bring it over and around to the back again 
and I'm gonna put some more beads in there. So I'm gonna stay in the blue family for the fish and just get seed beads that are the blue color. So same thing, I'm gonna come here, come up behind the fin, hook it over this one, and then bring it to the back. Now this is 20 gauge wire, it is a little stiff. If you have 22, I would advise it. Um, you could get away with 24, but it's going to be a little bit soft. So now let's put another one on there. This is sort of like a an opalescent kind of blue bead. So we're gonna stick that one there. And same thing, we're gonna come up here and then bring it around to the back. And don't worry if these are all the same uh, size uh, loop, it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna use a variety of sizes and uh, colors of blue beads. So we're gonna go in here, up, and then when we get to the side, we're gonna bring this one around to the back again. So when we get back to the side, we have to wind it around again. So we're gonna wind it around here and then wind it and bring it again to the back. And we're gonna work our way across this way. So we're gonna bring this one here and then bring it up through this loop and then just pull it pretty snugly and then bring it down here bring it to the back again and then get another bead and go up through that one get another different blue put that one in there and bring it up through this loop and bring it down and then just keep going across back and forth until you've finished filling in the fish. So as you get to the bottom, you can reduce the number of loops that you do. So you can uh, skip one if you have to. And then we're just gonna go in here. I'm gonna bring it down to just doing like two loops. Bring that to the back and then put a bead on there. And then I'm just gonna skip that loop and just bring it right over to the side here and then we're just really should just put maybe one more bead at the end there like i said this wire is a little stiff because it's 20 gauge but because i want it to be a little more resistant uh, i didn't want to use the 24 so we're going to bring this one put the bead on there and then just maybe bring it up through this one loop here and doesn't, don't worry if it's not too like super consistent. So there we've got it all filled in with the beads. And then we wanna just take this wire and twist it around the intersection of these. Now, this could have been bigger for sure, but it's okay, it's uh, just a prototype. So I'm just gonna bend it around here a couple of times. And then we actually wanna make a loop underneath to put the uh, stick through. So we're just gonna bend this one around a couple of times to make a little loop thing just around here. And then you can attach that end to the other side here. So that's just attached, that's just attached there. And then we're just going to like take this end and bring it around just to finish it off. So we'll just close that up so it's closed flush. And then you still have this little double loop thing here that we can stick the the little uh, pin through for the hairpin or a scarf pin so you can see that I've made like a little loop there and then you want to trim these ends so just trim them to the length that you want say around here or something like that and you'll have to file them so either I cut one a little shorter so either you're going to file it with a file which you can just kind of like rub it around to file it or if you have a wire reamer you can take one of these wire reamers this one's a little small for this size but you can just twist it around and soften up those edges and now we need to make a little stick so we've got our 16 gauge wire again 
we're just going to cut a nice long piece, make it straight, and we're going to cut the end. And again, if you want to file it, you can go ahead and file that. So now we can just take our fish and mold it in a way that it's a little bit more round so it can actually go around a scarf or around your hair so whatever amount you want we'll just adjust the eye so it goes back in place so then we want to just measure you know how big how long this should be and we're going to bend it we're just going to bend it around you could either do a spiral or you could just do a circle so if you want to do a spiral just get this one bring it around and take the end with your pliers and bring it in. So we're just going to bring this one in here. If you have another way to, you like to make spirals, it's fine. I tend to work from the outside in, but a lot of people work from the inside out. So whatever you prefer, we just bring that one in here and flatten it. And then just bring that one around so that you've got a cool little spiral thing and then when you put it in your scarf it's good or in your hair you're going to just put it through here through the nose and then just through the back loop through here and that's going to be your funky little fishy hairpin so another way you can set up the fish uh, this is also the 16 gauge wire so if you want the loop at the nose to be more discreet just take these uh, round pliers and form your loop first like that and then what you would do is just take your pliers hold them the flat pliers bend it that way and then this one is going to bend be bent that way as well so we're going to take this with our flat pliers and bend it that way and then that way it's a little bit more discreet underneath there and just hold it in place and just bring that one around like we did before and bring that one around like we did before and then when you put the stick it's going to go underneath there so for this one I'm going to use the 24 gauge wire it's a lot thinner uh, 22 is probably your best bet but 24 should be okay depending on the wire and for the eye I'm actually going to stick it back through the eye and the reason I'm doing that is because it will prevent it from flipping the bead like some people ask me how you prevent your beads from flipping around and that's going to hold it securely in place so then when you go to put it on the fish here it's going to stay uh, in position here so then we're going to go ahead and wind this one around and continue going like we did with the silver one so as you can see at the end it got a little uneven and I kind of went in whatever loop I wanted to so don't worry too much about perfection and then as before we're going to wind this around and then you want to create a kind of a loop to put the uh, wire through it's a little trickier with the 24 gauge wire because it's soft but if you have to go around this a few times to reinforce it it's fine so just kind of wind it around however many times you think you need you can always add a thicker wire to make this loop if you find the 24 gauge is too soft and then we have to finish the end so just take the end bring it around and get your flat pliers to pinch it in place and make sure there's no little rough end sticking in there so you can just check that you can always straighten this out a little bit to make sure the wires are nicely pressed together and then you'll have like the loop sticking out that side and from there go ahead and trim these ends to whatever length that you want file them as we did before and then bend this in a way that it's curved so it can fit in the hair or in a scarf and this is going to flip a little bit but it's fine once it's inside it's going to be good and then you can get your wire for the stick so just make it nice and straight 
don't worry too much about the stick. You can make it very simple if you want. So just measure sort of about where you want it to be. And then for this one, we'll just do a simple little loop. So we're just gonna do a bend at a right angle, bring it around to make a circle. You can do a spiral or a loop, whatever you want. Clip it and bring that one in so it's flush. You can also file the end if you like, and then this will go through the loop on that end and the little loops on that end. And there you have your other little fish shawl pin or hairpin. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire work, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below to my mailing list, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.